What's up everyone? I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe out there. Got some exciting progress in the snake room today. This pastel vanilla female is on the tail end of her ovulation. This morning she was really big, so definitely an ovulation right there. Very nice. This female was originally from VPI and she was bred to my super vanilla male who was also from VPI. And she's actually the mom of this girl here who I caught ovulating about three days ago. So pretty interesting, uh, two related females and um, they seem to be going on about the same schedule. Really exciting. Um, this is a vanilla fire yellow belly if you haven't seen her before and she was also bred to the super vanilla male who is right down here. I always have the hardest time getting this guy's colors right on the video. You can see he's all pissy because he's in super breeding mode. Just a great snake. This guy has always done so well for me. Really gorgeous and he's a lot brighter in person. Definitely more of a yellow hue than uh, you can see when he's dragging his water bowl around, which is what makes that sound. Very nice snake and uh, I would love to hatch some pastel and yellow belly versions of the super vanilla this year. So fingers crossed for that. Me now at this girl's tub doing a little bit of work. Just getting her used to me, and here she is checking me out. Look how cool that is. She's already getting a lot more trusting. Really quick, and I haven't really even done much. This girl just showed up the other day. She had a slow start, but she's gonna be huge now. And she a hidden gene walma. When she was younger, she had a lot of these peachy tones that are uh, definitely getting a little more orange, uh, kind of some contrast coming in on her. Really great snake, really inquisitive. I shut out since the last video. The pastel GHI Het VPI Azanthic. Awesome, I love her little neck mark right there. It looks like a flower to me. Very cool. Haven't seen this guy in a while, but he's doing just fine. Banana, Mojave, Spider, Hut Clown, Male. He's definitely cute. This little guy right here was for sale for a long time, but you guys were too slow and my girlfriend went ahead and claimed him. So here's her little banana and she hit clown male. He's doing great. This guy just has the best disposition. He's always calm and he loves to eat. He's growing really fast and getting really big compared to some of his clutch mates.
Here we have that Mojave Spider female with her mate for this year. Firefly Yellow Belly Boy. They were just locked the last few days, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab him. His tub's actually right above hers. And set him back to rest. This girl's doing great. She's definitely in that building mood, wanting to eat all the time. So, pretty hopeful for her. You can see she doesn't really wobble, but she is a little timid, a little jerky, but nothing to not love. And I'm gonna top this off. I had cleaned out this guy's water bowl before I paired them. Really gorgeous male. This guy was originally from Mark Bailey. Pastel Fire Yellow Belly. He's actually the dad of the Yellow Belly Vanilla Cream female that hopefully we'll get some eggs from this year. So, really cool. Just thought I'd check out the test tub that I set up the other day. So, um, when I said you want to check your condensation levels, make sure everything looks all right. This is exactly what you guys want to see when you set up an egg tub. So I just pulled up the door, but usually that's at right at 88. Um, if you temp gun throughout here, it holds pretty even with a computer fan up in the back there that keeps the air circulating well. Um, that'll help you achieve, you know, proper heat distribution. Um, which will make sure your condensation doesn't get out of hand. So uh, back to what I was saying, this is what you want to see here. Just a little bit of condensation on the front of the tub. So uh, there's a slight temperature gradient in here, but uh, it's really not, nothing severe. You can see the top of the tub is completely clear. This has been in here for, I don't know, about a week, maybe longer. So this is a manageable, level of condensation that uh, lets you know things are nice and humid, but um, you're not gonna have anything dripping on your eggs. That's what could uh, compromise their viability. And uh, I go, these tubs are airtight, so I go ahead and vent them about maybe every two weeks. All right, so here we have some frozen rodents that I've been thawing out. Um, I like to put them in a vac seal bag uh, just so they don't get completely waterlogged and then I thaw them in cold water. Um, from there I will dip the rodent in hot water briefly before feeding to warm it up and towel dry. Um, I only feed live when it's absolutely necessary and I would never do that on camera, but let's get started.